Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Last time you were here, we lost 4-1 in the FA Cup. First round proper against Oxford United. And I think it's dented our confidence. Hello and welcome to episode 5 of To Be A Legend. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have for you two games against, uh, first of all, Farsley Celtic in the Van Rama National League North and then we have an FA Cup trophy second round against Kings Lynn Town. Um, yeah, since you were last with us we've had a bit of a bad run. That, uh, that good run that we were having has got knocked off track by the loss to Oxford United. As you'll remember, we had, uh, what, six games unbeaten after the Sp after we lost to Spennymoor 2-1 um, in the uh, National League North. We've had a good run um, through to Chorley. A bit of Chorley was lucky, I suppose. It was a 1-1 up until uh, uh, Sam Osborne getting the uh, winner on three minutes into injury time in that game. But Having said all of that, uh, then the uh, game against Oxford, I think it was just the fact that we lost 4-1. Have we lost by 2-1 or something like that? Probably been all right uh, because we come out of that and we lost 3-1 to Gloucester City. Not in it at all. Um, Girolamo scoring the opening goal on three minutes. We were 1-0 at half time, but you'll see Sion Spence getting two, 55 and 89, and Matt McClure after 82. Uh, two goals in the last 10 minutes really put a dent in our side. 1-1 um, one, one would have been an um, excellent result, but uh, it's really punched a bit of a, a hole, and I think it's uh, it's done for morale. Uh, we did manage to scrape a 1-0 win against a Staley Bridge Celtic, and I say um, scraped. Uh, that was in a friendly game. Um just really played all our trial lists just to see if there was anybody there that really fitted the bill. I do apologise. I missed Banbury in between of those, and uh, we did actually manage to get a 2-2 two, two, uh, draw out of that one. We were two goals down. Um, goals from Jack Stevens after five minutes and Ben Aquay uh, after 72 uh, really left us looking as if we were going to lose yet again. And As you'll see, the XG-wise, they were really on top of it. Um, but we threw everything and the kitchen sink at it. Sean Brisley from a corner on 74 minutes. And Scott Bowden getting the winner. Uh, the winner, the, the equaliser, should I say, after 84 minutes. I wish it was a winner. I really wish it was a winner. Um, yeah, so that uh, was uh, how that one ended. As I say, dynamics-wise, it has not to the morale. You see club atmosphere is average, going down. Seen a slight drop. Um, Gilchrist, unhappy with the amount of playing time he's getting. Um, and team cohesion, I think this is the other thing. Team's collective mental state hasn't seen much change recently. Um, really need to try and pick that up. Um, and generally we're okay. We're going in the right direction with the management thing. Just need to uh, pull a couple of wins together. And I'm not sure whether today is the day that we're going to do it, to be fair, um, because um, we have that game against Farsi Celtic, the team that we managed uh, when we were doing uh, from the bottom to the top last season. They were near the bottom and we um, at Christmas and we had to pull them out of the quag, um, which we did reasonably well. We've got a bit more time to do it with um, um, Buxton in this one. Uh, but we'll see. We're a little way off that yet. Farsley currently 20th in the table. Um, recent uh, form, if we can see it. Is it going to come up? I'm not sure it's going to come up. There it is. Took a little bit of time to get there. Um, they've lost 2-1 to Chorley. 1-1 one -one draw with Banbury. A 0-0 nil -nil against Telford. They have us today and then Blythe Spartans. And Peterborough Sport coming up. Um, if we look at the table then to see what's going on there. Um, in fact, 
let's have a look at this one. It's a little bit better. We can actually see Farsley Celtic down here. Uh, they've uh, only won one of their last five. Drawn two, lost two, lost their... So not having won a game in the last four games, but having said that, we're two now, three wins, one loss, one draw. I suppose in the scheme of things, just because we were on such a good run, it's uh, put a little bit of a dent in it. Hopefully we can uh, put that to bed today. So currently 15th in the table, 19 games played. Um, not quite halfway through the season. We have 22 points. No, 23 points. Uh, just above Alfreton Town on 22 points. Two points behind Kidderminster Harriers, who are above us in 14th place on 25 points. Um, the playoffs are currently 29 points. Some uh, six points away from us. And uh, 12 points away are Boston United, who are leading the table at the moment. But you'll see Darlington had dropped down a fifth, moved back up. Our second opponents in the uh, FA Trophy, uh, but they're currently uh, are also uh, cohorts in here in the National League. Um, but uh, they are in fourth place, going reasonably well. They've uh, only won their last two matches. Uh, prior to that, they had uh, lost two and drawn one. So they're not infallible. Um, let's see what we can do. Right, without any more to do, let's get on with the episode and get into the games. First game up is that game against Farsley Celtic. And here is the team that will face uh, Farsley Celtic in this one uh, at the Citadel. Madison in goal, Clark, Lee, Granite and Burke are back line. Elliot and Kirby are um, in front of them. Osborne, Tazdemir and Clark, who normally plays back here, of course, he's playing on the right-hand side today, are attacking midfield. And they are behind Bowden, who is up front on the bench. We have a Brisley, Bunn. Goodridge, Darnley, and Girolamo. Dur 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 um, obviously, we've got an attacking bench, so if things do go wrong, we can uh, throw everything and the kitchen sink at it. That's the plan, anyway. And this is how the two teams face up. Some uh, old players... Uh, we will remember from our time at Farsley Celtic, Russ Wilcox is the manager there. Um, let's have a look and see. Um, Adam Clayton, um, an old stalwart. Uh, Chris Atkinson, remember him. Uh, Dave Sayers, uh, Luke Parkin, and I think Mahon, Frank Mahon was uh, there as well. A couple of these other players don't recognise. I think even also Tom Allen was there as well so a number of uh, players who are there but uh, what is interesting is they seem to have continued with uh, the formation that we put in place because uh, they're matching up uh, to our formation for this one well, let's get the game underway and drizzly 14 degrees for this one playing in our Inky strip again. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. And uh, Kirby going in with two feet. That's going to be a straight, yeah, a red card. And Connor Kirby has put us on the back foot 12 minutes in. That is not good. Right. in this middle bit here can he no how are we going to fix this one um i don't really want to do a change this early on it might be that clark has to play as a ball winning midfielder for some time tasmid demir can play out on the right which is going to have to Osborne, can he play in the middle there? Actually, I'm just wondering whether if I push Clark back out there and put Taz Demir in that middle there, I think he can. He's probably a little bit better, not fantastic. We'll put him in the middle for now. Um, is he going to be better, Elliot? Uh, no, 
anything significant. So we'll leave it at that for now. But that's really put us on a, a bit of a back foot, which isn't uh, isn't clever at all, is it? Uh, Bernard Connor Kirby going in off his feet, two legged tackle, and uh, really has sort of done us a injustice early on mind you we have a throw in clark to um elliot and elliot gives it away but he wins the ball back bowden and that shot was blocked boys coming out to get it one ball forward burke underneath it taz Demir. clark clark looking for osborne osborne is through and he's put it away so against uh the runner play we have uh, got ourselves in front after 20 well, 30 minutes, to be fair. And um, this could be, uh, albeit I say it, uh, uh, you know, character building wise, we've had to step up. We're down to 10 men. The problem will be is later on, and I think it's a case of doing some um, changes as late as we possibly can in the game, mainly because... Um, we want some fresh legs on there because these uh, not, uh, 10 are going to get very tired. Adam Clayton now with a free kick. But Burke is there to cover. Back to Madison. Madison to Lee. Lee back to Madison. Clark. As he comes forward. And he's got Randy's man. Parking. Luke Parking, the player in his way. And Sayers is through. Hill. Back to Sayers and he scored. We couldn't do that when uh, when <laughs> when we were there. 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> and uh, that's maybe where that ball winning player up front there wasn't there. But defensively lacking. What's... <clears throat> Who's this? Jack Lee out of position, but he should have stayed there. He, he'd blocked this area here, and and as the player came in, he sort of backtracked, which was bonkers. If we go backwards here. Can we go backwards? We can. If we see it again. You'll see this is the uh, the angle ball. So Lee has pushed him out now. He's going to come through here. All he's got to do is stay in position. This man is marking this man. This man should be able to mark this man. He really needs to stay here. Block this gap off. But what does Lee do? Moves out of the way. Leaves a hole. <coughs> leaves a hole here. <laughs> and uh, just leaves it for Sayers. Bonkers. So defensive error in that has led to their equaliser. Half time has arrived. Uh, we've got seven shots, one on target, 0 0.70. They've had six shots, two on target, 52% of the possession. Shouldn't probably be in that position given that we're only on 10 men. But that does tell me if we up the ante a little bit and go attacking, can we actually beat them wholesale? And no changes at half time. We've just uh, upped the ante a little bit. We've gone a bit more attacking just to see if we can infiltrate them. Jack Lee now picked up a yellow card. Marking under that one, but Elliot is uh, there to win the ball. That was a two legged tackle uh, referee. Should have uh, equalised things at Mullen. But Madison, it was wide of the target. Madison comes across to get it anyway. They've changed formation to a 4-4-2, which is quite interesting. We are about to make some tactical changes as well. Uh, tired legs on there. I think Clark can move back uh, for Burke, which will give us the opportunity to bring on a wide player. We're going to bring Zach Dearnley on. Scott Bowden isn't uh, having a good game, so I am tempted to put Dernley up front, put Girolamo out here. Um, do we 
hang on for a minute and then make one final change. Uh, Tazdemir isn't, he's not playing in his right position. Is we really need to bring Mason Goodridge on for Tazdemir. Builder. Is that his best position? It is indeed. Right, three changes then. We're going to throw the dice at them. Um, get out there and do it. Three players coming on are composed. I guess a 1 1 away from home would be all right, but. Bearing in mind we've down to 10 men, but it does again sort of smell that we should have actually won this had we had a full complement of players, which is very... Disappointing. Lee cuts that out. Looking for Dernley. Goodridge brings the ball down nicely in midfield. Clark over the top, but it's cut out by Tom Allen. The Tom Comedian. Oh, Malhern's in. Oh, and he's got Frank Malhern. And uh, going attacking. We probably should have dropped back. And again, I spoke too soon when I said a 1-1 one, one wouldn't be too bad. Um, but XG-wise, we were better than them. 13 shots, 3 on target. They had 15 shots, 5 on target. 0 0.91 against 0 0.72. 51% of the possession. It's another loss, and we're going to slowly start to fall down this table if we're not careful. And uh, just exactly the game, so we can't afford to be losing. And that loss has moved us down to 17th place now. Eight points adrift of Spennymoor in seventh place in those playoff places. It's looking uh, even more likely that we're going to struggle to get there. Um, a bad day at the office. And um, I think somebody here sums it up. We'll just have to chalk that up as a bad day and move on. The early red card killed us. It did indeed up until that point, I think. We um, felt as if we had uh, quite the chance to do something. And uh, I guess um, scoring against the run of play and against uh, the fact that we were down to 10 men, but we just couldn't hang on. And maybe it was my fault tactically. I should have gone to a more uh, balanced uh, way. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I want to win. So Kings Lynn is our second game up. Let's just uh, move on. We'll do all the necessaries off land. Kirby is banned for one match. Um, I'm suspecting he may well get a, a slightly longer ban. Another trialist coming in, as you will see, um, in our quest for a striker that uh, can pop goals away, left, right, and centre. That's what we're after. Um, really are right. Kettering, uh, not Kettering. Kings Lynn up next then in the uh, second round of the FA Trophy. Uh, Kings Lynn Town, uh, we have played them once already this season, lost 2-1 in the National League at their place um, earlier in the season. Zach Darnley scoring on that occasion the first goal. Uh, they're getting two back after 34 and 58 minutes. Um, Kings Lynn are currently fifth in the table. And uh, how did they do today uh, in this last round of, of matches? Uh, do we know? That would be interesting just to see how they've got on today as well. Um, let's have a look. Kings Lynn, where are you? Kings Lynn, they've lost 2 0 to Spennymore, so they'll be smarting a little bit as well. And to face Kings Lynn Town in this uh, FA Trophy second round. We've got Madison in goal, Clark, Granite, Brisley and Burke, our defensive line. Um, 
Lee dropping to the bench, uh, basically because he didn't have a good game last time out. Elliot and Goodridge, uh, Goodridge coming in for the um, suspended Kirby. Uh, Osborne, Bunn and Dearly, Dernley, shall I say, are our mid attacking midfield uh, with Bowden continuing up front, albeit who's uh, firing blanks in the uh, previous game. Lee, Clark, Hardy, Taz Medea and uh, Dim Girolamo. Gir um, on the bench. And this is how we set up. Uh, matching off. Uh, just interesting that uh, Nelson, Andrew Nelson, he was a player that we tried to sign. Um, Hatchy had uh, made him an offer and he decided to go to Kings Lynn. So let's hope he isn't going to do us um, uh, damage today. Josh Bauer, Barrett, I'm sure he's a, a stalwart from uh, past series here on uh, Football Manager and this channel. Um, right, let's get underway then. At the Walks Stadium in Kings Lynn. And if this doesn't work today, we're in our pink again, which is, I'm beginning to wonder whether our pink um, kit is, is the thing that's causing us problems. Uh, Bowden comes back and wins that ball very nicely, though. Um, yeah, I, I'm just wondering, Dean Lee, heads it forward. But um, just wondering whether uh, we need to start looking at uh, maybe the formation isn't doing the business and therefore do we need to uh, have a look at it. Goodridge ducking down there. That one, Brisley brings it back under control. Goodridge, Granite, Clark. Push that through. Bunny's going to get there. Bun. Pulls the ball back, slots it in. Bowden, his fifth goal of the season, has put it in the corner of the net. Bun, lovely, got himself in position. Bowden was well positioned, and uh, though I said he was firing blanks, must have heard me, uh, though I said he was firing blanks in the last match, He's got us in front in this, but we uh, have an immediate issue. Barrett with a free kick, 14 minutes on the clock, and it's gone over the top, thankfully. I'm not sure that Madison was going to get to that. He stood very, very still. Launches a long ball forward, looking for Bowden. It's headed down to Goodridge. Goodridge to Durnley. Durnley comes inside to Bowden. Tries to get it back to Durnley, but... It's a poor ball, and oh, around the defence, Nelson is in, and he's uh, done exactly what I said he would do. And he's got it back on 15 minutes. That was a poor ball by Durnley. Returning the 1-2, and Nelson, as we try to get him through the legs of Madison, Granite was trying to make up ground. He was left for dead. And we had the lead for four minutes. Is this going to be another poor episode? Let's hope not. As we head past the half hour mark. Ran it with a pumped ball back upfield. I'm not sure what the benefit of that is. And Burke heads it right into the path of Walker. He's come back and won the ball. It's flicked on. And uh, Bowden wasn't really paying attention on this occasion. Osborne comes back, wins the ball. Nice bit of play from Osborne. There's a few players... Just one or two players that show a little bit of skill here. Bun couldn't bring that down. McFadden was in close proximity to him. Brisley, Elliot over the top, but that's a long wayward ball again. And it's uh, all oh, Durnley's in. Bowden gets his second. He's going to be offside, though, I think. Was he not? No, the linesman has run back. It's uh, it's all good. I presume he the Durnley must have been forward. Bowden was behind Durnley. That will be why, yes. In fact, he passed it forward and, uh, along the line. And uh, Bowden was there. So Bowden second. Bowden on a hat-trick then. 
And we go 2 1 up. Maybe we shouldn't be completely despondent. Half time comes. 10 shots, 4 on target, nearly hitting our 50%. Or 1.27 on the XG. 58% possession. That's a bit more like it. They've had 7 shots, 2 on target. 0.69. Um, so far, so good. Back for the second half. No changes at half time. And uh, Burke with a long throw to Bun. Bun sort of ducked out of it, really. Nelson, who's been causing us problems. Need to check him on the uh, opposition instructions a minute. I'm just a bit worried that uh, we've not got it covered. Uh, Bernick Clark tries to get his foot in and uh, nearly gave something away there. Go on, keep on him, Clark. Oh, it's got in. Zane Walker. And it's 2-2. Right. I'm wondering whether... No, you see, look. Leave it to my assistant manager and it's not doing, is it? Josh Barrett. Why do I have to do this? Lord of God's never killed in the press. Really. Right, okay. Right, we've uh, hopefully fixed those. But might be a bit too late for this. I was uh, thinking about it before this happened. Crossed in and... Uh, I think we still have some defensive uh, frailties. minutes comes we've got a highlight i was gonna do some changes but as it is granite will back off that one to madison back to granite granite to goodridge as we come forward through the uh gears dernley dernley who's having a good game referee in the way elliot elliot he's gone out wide elliot comes back inside still got the ball but uh, finds Granite. Granite lobs one forward, but uh, wasn't the fun, I think, got on the end of that, but uh, nothing doing. And ball launched forward. Brisley brings it down to Goodridge. Looking for Dernley. Dernley has got it. Dernley is in, and it's gone in the back of the net. Zach Dernley hit that so hard. The goalkeeper got it, but it went in the back of the net. He's 10th of the season, and we go 3-2 up. I just really hope that this is building character for the team because at the end of the day, they've tried, keep trying. That was hit so hard straight at the goalkeeper, but uh, all Jones could do was divert it into the back of his net, which we're grateful for all things. Um, right. Luke Burke is tired. James Clark will come on for him in that back right position. Uh, Scott Bowden's not had a bad game this time. Uh, Harry Bunn's okay. Sam Osborne. Um, we'll leave the front line, I think, as it is. Nobody has been misperforming. Josh Granite is probably the uh, the only one. Do we bring Jack Lee on? I am tempted to bring Jack Lee on for Granite. Let's hope he doesn't have a disaster like he did last time out. Right, we'll just do those two changes for now. Point finger. See the result through. As we've taken the lead. And we'll leave it for just a little bit longer. And then we'll go perhaps to a more balanced. 907 in the ground. Jones with a goal kick. It's headed down to Walker. Walker puts it through. Barrett's in. 
and over the top, thankfully. Right. 78 minutes on the clock. I need to check opposition instructions because they have done a couple of changes, albeit defensively. Zane Walker as well. Put him on the wrong foot. And McFadden at the back there. Never trigger press. Okay, we continue. 85 minutes is up. Right, tactics wise, let's have a look. Warren Clark is tired on the left-hand side. We don't have anybody to replace him, so he's going to have to say, Sean Brisley, we don't have anybody to replace him. Scott Bowden now is tired. I'm thinking of bringing, about bringing Girolamo on for Bowden up front. That is our final change. We are going to go to balanced. Give the team talk. Pump fists. See this result through in the time that is remaining. Back underway. And they have a corner right on time. And uh, that's gone back out. It's not clear yet. Oh, it's gone wide. I thought that had gone in. And it is all over. That is the final throw of the dice for Kingsland. We have beaten. Kings Lynn and um, three goals to two. Scott Bowden, two goals. Uh, Zach Dearnley getting the other one, which means that we have a draw for the third round coming up. So the draw for the uh, third round of the Builder Base FA Trophy. Um, we were asked to be competitive, so we have been competitive. Maidstone United will play Melksham. Chorley play Kidderminster Harriers. Scarborough Athletic will play Telford. South End will play Aldershot. Darlington, Farsley Celtic. Torquay United will play Worthing. Hungerford Town will play Eastleigh. Fylde will play Oldham Athletic. Leamington will play Banbury, Oxford or Oxford City, that is, or Kingstonian will play Chester or Peterborough Sports. Spennymore will play Kettering. Concord Rangers will play Woking. Taunton Town or Dover Athletic will play Dulwich Hamlet. Tame or Hamel Hampstead will play Warrington. Horsham will play Barnet. Tunbridge Angels will play Chelmsford City or Weymouth. Gateshead will play Biggleswade. Altrincham will play Scunthorpe United. Ashton United or Brackley Town will play Notts County. Yeovil will play Chippenham Town. Kersden Ashton will play Buxton. So we're going to be playing Kersden Ashton. Also from the Vanarama National League North in the next round. Let's draw all the rest of the teams. There we go. That is the draw. Kirsten Ashton away in the next round, boys and girls. And uh, it will ask us whether we want to go to extra time. We'll do that at a and further point. Uh, third round, the FA Trophy is down here. Um, I'm thinking that we possibly will come back now for Leamington Spa and Kirsten Ashton. In the next episode, ahead of um, a new year, uh, double header against Alpherton Town. That's uh, what is coming up. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. That will keep you up to date with all future episodes of To Be A Legend and our new series as they are released. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with what's happening on this channel, then you need to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2 is where, the, where you should be. Uh, new episodes of To Be A Legend are released every day this week at 4.15pm. Apologies for the late one yesterday. Uh, but uh, we will go back to a normal sort of cycle next week. Um, 
uh, up till Christmas and then uh, post Christmas uh, we'll see how we're getting on with the other series and how that all fits together uh, anyway thank you for watching hope to see you for the next episode it'll be episode 6 it's the final episode of the week tomorrow at 4 15 until then goodbye